Alright, today is June 14th. This will be just a quick aquaponics update. My system is uh, not really doing well, with the exception of the basil. The basil seems to like pretty much anything. Uh, my cucumber plant uh, that was doing really well inside uh, just slowly withered and died once I moved it outside. The, uh, I pulled the plant yesterday and the root structure on it was really small, really shallow, which is consistent with what I've been seeing with my uh, with any other plants that I've pulled out of there. Almost, uh, almost no roots. So in an attempt to correct that, I've cut a half inch to three quarters of an inch off the uh, standpipe that controls the level of fill in the media bed. So now the water level at a max height will be a little bit lower within the gravel. Uh, hopefully it'll motivate the roots to grow a little bit deeper, get a little bit better root structure on the, on the plants that are in here, and uh, maybe that'll fix part of, part of the problem. Another problem that I've had, um, it's, I have an excess amount of solids making it from my fish tank at the bottom, fish waste, solid fish waste, and uh, uneaten fish food making it up to the uh, to the gravel bed. Successful aquaponic systems that I've seen, uh, that I obviously don't have personal experience with, but I've seen on online, um, have swirl filters that they use to control the level of uh, undissolved solids that make it to uh, make it to the media. So, kind of a poor man's swirl filter that I put in place here is I've taken um, some of the media out in an area around the fill tube. I've added a piece of this four inch PVC just to kind of keep the area contained. And I've put, um, cut greenies out three deep and placed them in there. Greenies are just uh, kitchen scrubbies made out of uh, a green material. I guess you call them um, uh, Scotch Bright, some uh, I think is the brand on them, but we used to use them in the Navy. I'm familiar with them. They're inert, so they don't. They're not going to add or take anything away from my system, but they work as a pretty good filter. So I put those in here with the goal of cleaning them and changing them out every day or every couple of days to just remove the amount of uh, solids in the system that get up here and you know decompose and throw the nitrate and nitrite levels uh, way off within the system. So I'm attempting to uh, address that, as well as address the fill level by cutting a little bit off the standpipe. Hopefully both of those issues will, uh, will help. My tomato plant has grown to, uh, to a decent height that you can see there. Um, it's not making any progress on producing fruit. It's not flowering at all. My cucumber plant, while it was inside, had 10 or 15 male flowers on it. Uh, one or two female flowers that you can that you can see because they have the, the fruit attached, but it never really got beyond that uh, I had to move this entire system outside due to an issue a water issue inside unrelated to my aquaponic system my bell pepper here Quickly grew to this the height that you see which is this is the bell pepper quickly grew to this height uh, It's been this height for a while now a week or two. It seems like uh, without making any real uh, real progress beyond that. This is another cucumber that I planted recently um, to replace the one that I knew I was going to have to pull. And then I've also planted another tomato, which you can see is right here. And I just want to see how that does with changes in the chemistry from removing the undissolved solids as well as lowering the, uh, the fill level by cutting just a uh, almost three quarters of an inch, half inch to three quarters of an inch off of um, the pipe that you see right here. So we'll see how all that goes. You just keep testing and uh, keep trying, keep testing the, the water levels. Uh, I haven't been happy with nitrates and nitrites, um, but we're gonna keep working on that. I think that is largely due to the solids. Uh, you can see I've had a, uh, an algae bloom in my fish tank. My fish are doing well. So I know I've got an ammonia cycle um, going. And my fish have been in here, they're doing well, they're thriving. There's seven black mollies, or Dalmatian mollies in here currently, uh, along with one posthumus that's just a, really loving the algae growth. Um, I did a 90% water change um, two days ago. I had almost clear water in here, and then now we're back to this um, 
to the screen, which isn't nearly as bad as it has been. Before I did the water change, it was a dark core screen, you know, and it was completely opaque. So, also removing, I think the algae bloom, obviously there's a lot of sun out here that has something to do with algae bloom. I think the excess uh, nutrients in the water, the uneaten fish food, the, uh, and, the dissolved, and the undissolved solids are contributing to the algae bloom as well. So hopefully we can get both of those conditions corrected and uh, get some plants growing.